Hello boys, my name is Kuyoshi and welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition for the Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we left off doing some more or normal and hard playthrough of Hyrule Warriors' Legend Mode. However, we came to a conclusion that we needed more stuff to get through things in a couple of other setups. Now we're going to start with... Or it's something which is not necessarily a hard mission, just really annoying. In case you didn't know, we're doing the Temple of the Sacred Sword again. Which has become my least favorite level in the game just because it takes so long to do everything. And the actual setup of it is not easy by any means. And now we have to use one of the worst characters in the game. The only good thing Faya is going for right now is she has boosted element on this map. Meaning, oh, I don't know if that worked or not, but I'll just <laughs> attempt that. Hope it works. Oh, it did. Okay, it has a really good trigger box. So my main goal for this first one, at least before initially started, is... To try and activate the sealed statues, ideally all three of them, before Impa becomes problematic. Or gets into problem. Then to ensure she doesn't get into danger, I'm basically going to immediately after getting the second spot, I'm going to immediately teleport. So I should go right as soon as they spawn, like right around there, I'm going to do that. So yeah, we're going to do things a bit differently. We're gonna teleport here. And we're gonna do the same thing for, uh, Inia as well. I don't need to protect uh, Midna, but I will go ahead and take out that enemy next to Daruni as extra safety. And then from there, I'm just gonna go around and basically I have to kill forces in the battlefield to make stuff easier. Yeah, that's about it. But I'm not gonna do anything else after that. Nope. Beyond that, I'll just kill troops as necessary. Okay. Get rid of him. Hmm. Oh, that's Link. What am I thinking? We have to keep... We don't have to keep all of our allies above 50% health, by the way. We only have to keep Darunia, Impa, and Midna all above 25% health, which is out of danger. Or otherwise, um, we kind of get destroyed. But thankfully, that's pretty easy to do in this because... Unlike some of the other missions, we actually have to take out quite a few troops. In fact, in case I didn't already mention this, we have to take out 2,000 troops during the mission. And while it is simple, it is not easy by any means. So we're going to do an extra backup to make sure we um, get through that more easily. I didn't see if I took out the summoner up top here. Alright. Unlike some of the other ones, I may have to use magic, particularly fairy magic, to be a allow myself to get through them. Beyond that, I'm the first part is pretty simple, just 
Defeat the magic stash troop as soon as possible so the troops don't get super strong and then kind of just do other stuff after that. And yeah, the goal is to simply reach 2,000 kills, which is easy. The problem is keeping them around 50% health is the actual problem. Thankfully, Fi actually does... I is not actually that terrible. I found out just from doing other stuff. She has a decent range and... This AoE you see here is one of the best in the game, so it's nice. Our cool thing is she can move and attack at the same time, which really makes it fast to take out the stuff. And from there, yeah, there's not a lot we can do. Previously, we were waiting for Impa and other characters to do stuff, or stuff like Midna. This time around, we're basically using the time to kill as many Ghost Soldiers as possible, meaning wherever we see them, we're going to take them out because we need to, as many of them as we can. And the biggest safety we do is during the middle part, because when uh, the main character spawns in to do some other stuff, <clears throat> That means um, there will be more ghost forces that will appear throughout the battlefield as well. So to make it easier, we'll do other stuff. Also, since we need a lot of ghost forces anyways, I think it's not a bad idea to consider um, also using a fairy magic in the middle of one of them. Oh, and now the... Oh, wait. That didn't actually appear at all. Now! Okay, there we go. Now they appear in multiple spots. And then it's like, Ghost Forages are inside the temple. Thankfully, this part is not as bad as the previous part. The only thing I'm doing is I'm basically going to kill the forces that are going towards our characters. Drop a fairy bomb on ones next to Darudia. And then very quickly protect Impa as well. And beyond that, we're actually going to completely ignore Lana altogether because these forces actually get pretty hard the second time around. So we need to make sure our friends stay high. We need force, extra forces battled anyway, so we may as well take out all of the captains over here and even drop a fairy bomb on one of them. I was hoping to get a few more forces, but oh well. And now we're going to warp to the bottom. And from there, kind of just do other stuff. This is just an extra safety I do to make sure that Impa is fully guarded. Also nice, we got this, so we could just use this to defeat the troops instead. So we'll go ahead and use our fairy magic. Just instantly clear that all out. Also puts a barrier around, meaning these enemies now have less defense. And beyond that, I'm going to basically do kind of like I was doing a casual playthrough. Like, instead of doing stuff the way I usually do, I'm going to go around and basically kill every single enemy I can find. Meaning I'm going to kill the summoner, and I'm going to kill other stuff as well. I'm pretty much going to keep on non-stop attacking until... I get close to 1500. I won't be able to get all the way using this, but I will be able to protect my characters. The only thing I'm looking for is to make sure that they are safe. Now, there is a faster way to potentially do this, but I prefer not to do it that way because if we don't defeat enough ghost forces, the simple gist is we can't really get a lot of extra troops in the ever setup. And the only reason why I'm doing it is because the actual thing we're looking for itself is in a completely different spot altogether. So while this will take a little bit longer, I prefer to do it this way just because then we can do the second part of this as a speedrun rather than having to destroy extra troops. It also saves a little bit of time. And now we, uh... Now, as you take longer and longer to do stuff, you do get small hints as to where the actual ghost forces are, but again, we don't want to do this yet away because we have quite a few forces to take out before then, so 
We're making sure we take them all out first. Unfortunately, we aren't able to defeat the ones inside the temple due to obvious reasons. But anyways, we did that. This is probably a little bit late, but this should be enough. So now we are safe to go for Lana. So now we're going to take our stuff. Ooh, we got the uh, the classic text box where he calls Link, Link and his very innocent nuisances. No! I thought, just no. I'm gonna, don't think I have a good attack to take her out, so I'll just use that to make it easier. Oh, and she immediately got up. By the way, you can do this to take them out. Yeah, I think I may have to just take this out in two cycles, which is a bit annoying. I finally got a weak point break this time. Okay, did a, some good damage. Once you get rid of all the summoners, they can't do anything to harm you, so now it's just about doing other stuff. Unfortunately, the ghost soldiers themselves can still get out. They are partially outside the temple right now, but we should be fine. There's no timer limit on this stage. We just have to defeat 2,000 enemies, which is already super easy to do, so... There we go. Did that. And there we go. Fake Lana, also known as Rizwell, has been defeated. Oh my goodness, look at all the enemies here. Well. We should have plenty now. What are we doing? <laughs> doing indeed. Okay, so that more or less completes the hardest part of the objective that I don't like, which is making sure they stay above 50% health or whatever. I actually did more than that. I didn't just keep them out of danger. I kept them all of 50% health. All right, now we're going to take the guys out in here a bit. The only thing I want to do is make sure I get 2,000 KOs. My goal, get uh, 2,000 KOs before... Before, quote unquote, before the Temple of the Sacred Sword opens up. This will allow me to get the Skulltula for it right away rather than having to wait on it. That being said, I don't want to take too long either. So I'll probably have to do other stuff because I just realized if I go too early, I'm going to have the thing spawn on me and get really annoyed so we're gonna go in here first actually skip a bunch of stuff and make sure the gatekeepers are taken care of first barely got that in time by the way all right take care of the gatekeepers thankfully it seems link is not as dumb this time around and will actually seem to just skip right by those other enemy forces meaning now we just have to take care of the gatekeepers well I I guess I kind of lied you don't have to escort link to this eight hey, setup I just want to make sure oh wait no wait yeah I just realized it wouldn't work anyway so I kind of joked around I completely forgot about one thing not only do you have to defeat 2,000 enemies and keep your characters, or whatever, out of danger, but you also have to defeat Wizrel as well, meaning, although we completed the main objective, we won't be able to go in until we actually defeat Wizrel, so now it's just about getting Link up there to the actual pedestal. Nice crit block. Or item attack, whatever it's called. My only good strategy I know of clearing things out really easy is my character has an AoE, I just do other stuff. Also, I kind of like this setup. The person that is scoring Link is also one of his best companions, Phi, which actually makes a whole lot, a whole bit of sense from the actual storyline itself. But anyways, 
we're finally done with that, and now we have to just defeat Lizrel in the Master Sword Room, which we don't even have to knock him down all the way. We just have to get him down below 50% of his health. And this is the part I mentioned where it'll be slightly easier. But yeah, all you have to do is get him down below 50% health and then he just retreats. And there we go. Now we just wait for the Skull Tool to show up. It takes a little while because of obvious reasons, but otherwise we are just waiting and waiting. This will be a bit scary for Zelda in particular, but we should be fine as long as we get it while we're here. The only reason I'm doing this is to, of course, save time. Okay, there we go. Rezrel has been successfully repelled, so now we get the Gold Skulltula, and now we get the reinforcements as well. So now all we have to do is Puppy Guard Zelda, and we'll be good. I say that as a joke because it's like, yeah. I don't want her to get hit by anything, so of course we're gonna make sure she doesn't get hit by anything. Because uh, I am much weaker, I won't be able to um, take out these guys right away, meaning Zelda will get stopped multiple times because of that, but we should be fine as so long as we do stuff right. So yeah, anytime a captain gets near Zelda, she immediately stops, so we have to make sure every single captain next to her is taken out before she'll move again. Even if it's not necessarily close to her, it may still uh, activate it. As long as it's within a certain range, she will not move. We did even more than that. We actually got 3,000. Now, if you were playing the original game in particular, I heard you actually have to get 3,000 KOs to get the... Oh, wow. Jeez, I didn't even look for a minute, and Zelda just went super quick. And see, as you can see, even though this guy is not really nearby, it's nearby enough where Zelda won't advance. Okay, now she's advancing. Well, actually, she was advancing for a while, but she was stopped for quite a bit there. By the way, the glitch I happened probably happened because, similar to other stuff, we can't actually go the objective that involves um, defeating the other opponents, or I guess getting her into the area, until a set amount of text boxes have cleared out. Meaning, although she went into the temple itself, she wasn't able to complete the objective for us because, well, obviously, when I, uh, when she, uh, because the game wasn't expecting her to get to that point, it didn't count the objective as a complete simply because we, uh, simply because when we tried to do it, we were too soon, so we didn't get the objective complete because it was still in the middle of the text box. <laughs> Which, I will definitely show a highlight of that because that is still the most ridiculous glitch I've ever seen. I didn't even know that can happen. So far, the only way to deal with it, or at least not uh, get trolled by it, That X cobble I'm trying to do is actually her best cobble for dealing with uh, those enemies. Oh my goodness, she keeps on trying to grab me for no reason or another. Okay, there we go, finally. Okay, I just realized something. That trick I'm doing with the right side will only work if he gets shoved up against the wall, which we almost did, but not quite. Why they get up so quickly, I don't know. Probably just hard mode for you. 
Oh, didn't even get a single hit there. Now we should get it because there'll be no time for him to get up, so we'll just take him out there. That's just an unfortunate set that we have to deal with, due to not having a second character to easily cheese this. On any other mission, we could just use Link to cheese it and do other stuff. Not only that, but we could use Link ourselves to cheese the next mission, which is what we're going to do. Because otherwise, yeah, it gets kind of difficult. Thankfully, the next uh, mission has a much more cooler strategy. Unfortunately, neither character has its level 4 weapon, but we have to get their H and our heart containers anyway, so figures may as well uh, do it now. So now into Word of Spirit, which is not as trolly. Okay, so the goal in this one is more or less just complete the side objective, the hard mode objective in this next mission. It's to just ensure that all the characters are able to flee when they choose to do so, meaning you have to make sure they all retreat, which is already pretty easy to do. Of course, we will have Link for that mission, which will make it even easier, which is good, because without him, it'd be really trolly. Alright. But anyways, time to do this on normal with Impa as our first character. This... This is probably his best one right here. And then Phi has to be the second character. Impa and Phi, yeah, that means we have to use Phi again. We're not gonna not necessarily not use him at all. We will have to use him a bit. As Phi just captured a South Garden, which is much lower down and doesn't actually happen until later, we can just send her to that spot right away, whereas Impa is going to be the main character that we use. As Impa, look for a boulder to bomb on the path south of the southeastern magic keep, meaning it's actually at the very beginning of the mission. But before I do that, I'm going to first uh, do the speed strategy to take the magic keeps, meaning this. I'm going to send our second character over there while we uh, send our main character over to the right side. But yeah. Fortunately, we don't have Link, so the mission will be a bit slower. But. Oh, because of having to escort him. We also have an extra commander to protect as a result of that. Beyond that, there's not much we can do to speed this up. There's not really a fast way to do other stuff, since we, of course, can't do other stuff. And from there... Okay, that was very quick. Impa, you're now gonna go down and actually go for uh, the heart piece right now. Seems a bit awkward to do this now because obviously Dark Link is showing up and I wanna make sure we take him out, but I wanna make sure that we get this. Beyond that, we're gonna actually just make sure this happens as soon as possible. So, Fi, you're gonna go to the South Garden and kinda just chill there. And the rest of the mission is going to be done with just Impa. And there we go. That'll allow me to get reminded of myself when time comes. Beyond that, we're not going to go for the commander necessarily right away. Because we have a little bit of time before Link actually dies. So we'll first focus on making sure Zelda doesn't die. But then as soon as he gets in there, we have to hurry and take out the dark coin before it is too late we do have our level 3 weapon which makes this a bit easier but wise it's gonna be still a bit tough
As for how we're gonna take them out, we're probably just gonna do other stuff. Alright, and now Dark Link appears. I'm taking out all the captains first, though, to make sure they don't sue with us. Should be easy enough to do. I find this next part really fun because Impa's... Impa, which is... The first friend that Link ever meets is gonna fight alongside him in the Dark Link room, which is really cool. By the way... When uh, somebody did the normal playthrough, that same guy I talked about, which I'm not going to mention I, due to obvious reasons, he also had a fail here where essentially when he was in this room, he completely forgot Dark Link was even here. He basically went around taking out all the tubes because, as you know, he plays the game more like a casual playthrough, meaning he will basically um, ignore other goals and just try and kill as many troops as possible because of that um <clears throat> because of that he actually failed this mission not an easy of course it was normal but yeah he literally died two times he dies he actually game overed and he was so confused on what was going in until it was like oh wait hey the dark link is taking out link <laughs> Ever since I watched that video, I, I need to remember that I always have to pay attention to it. To be fair, this never happens in the original game. Instead, usually other stuff happens and it's not actually that bad. Um, here comes Ganondorf, by the way. Right. It's not the attack I wanted to do. Thankfully, Impa is a pretty strong attack for these dark lanes. Okay, got him that time. Alright. Now we just have to defeat the dark ranks in the middle room. Obviously, I'm gonna ignore Zelda for the first little bit now. And now, okay, see, now they get revived and now we have to Take out the guys in the sorcerer's room, which is going to force the door to close. When you're not playing as Link, the door will close once you, uh, once your main character goes into the room. If you have Link, then only Link can go in here and it'll work. The only thing we can do while we wait is help out Zelda by doing other stuff, but even then, I'm not going to do that right away. Instead, I'm actually going to use this time, since it's going to be a while before Impa is let out of his trap or whatever. I'm just going to use that time to just get this heart piece right now. Get it out of the way. Thanks to the commander setup, we can still fight with our second character, so we'll go ahead and do that. I actually forgot I had a second character, so I will... Use our second character to protect Zelda by taking out all of the mop villains. But yeah. Kind of annoying that it didn't respawn right away. But yeah. Multiple shield moblins to take out here, so may as well take them out. There's a long time before you actually get let out anyways. Alright, now we uh, go back to Impa finally. And we're going to take out some captains while we wait for this. Oh, great, we got the rally caption text at that time, of course. That's a bit awkward. Alright. Okay, seems Zelda's made it inside the actual palace. Now we have to protect everyone else. Easy. 
wonder if we'll defeat this guy in time. I don't even know. Alright. And now we wait for Ganondorf to come back. And yes, if this was Wii U, this would be another mission where you have to repeat it three times. Thankfully, this is not the case this time around. Killing those captains just for extra experience. Beyond that, there's not a lot we can do. Alright. Now we get the, do you think we'd let you run, text box. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Called it. And now we go in and fight Ganondorf. We don't have to take out the skilled summoner, in fact, we can just take out Ganondorf to finish off the mission, so that's what we're gonna do. There's not much else you can do, because until this text box appears, Gandorf cannot even be attacked at all, so may as well do that. Okay, nice. Gandorf is defeated, and now we have to wait for our, the Lawn text box series, and this extra one as well. And there we go. This is actually a glitch, by the way, if nobody knows yet. Until uh, this text box finishes, the game won't actually recognize that we finished the mission until after uh, it changes objectives even before it says defeat Gandorf to win. Like, it has to change the objective first and then it'll recognize that you've won. Which means you can technically still lose even though you have beaten Ganondorf. Now, as for the actual objective itself, as you might have guessed, it's easy. Literally just do the same thing except just ignore Ganondorf and make sure Zelda is protected. It doesn't have any other miniature objectives to decide. You just need to ensure all the characters flee the battle when they do so. So, until then, the only thing we can do to make this faster is to do it basically the next best way we can do it, which is we're going to play as hard, and that setup, by the way, is Zelda with a Lapier. Yeah, that's right, folks. We're going to be using Zelda in this one. Which means, because we're using stuff in a specific way, what I mean by that is I use other setups, we're technically going to use both Zelda and Link in the same mission, which is kind of cool. As for who I'm using, it doesn't really matter. I'll probably just trade places between them. Beyond that, this is pretty simple. Basically, just do the same thing we just did, but we have to ensure that Fi, Impa, Lana, and Minna are able to flee the battle when they attempt to flee. And then the actual location will be in East Garden. Wait, the East Garden. That means that'll be in the same location as Ganon's area, where Ganondorf first begins. So, until then, we can basically do the rest of the mission like a speedrun. In fact, it is super easy to do. Now, because we didn't pick Link as our main character, the game still puts a bot in there, but um, that's just a thing that happens on free mode. I forgot if I commanded properly or not, so we'll make sure it goes there. And Zelda's also still the commander even though we're playing as him if we're playing on legend mode instead Rudo would ha replace Zelda as the Elda as our commander that we have to protect I'm gonna take out this guy while he's there just to make it a seer unlike the other characters Zelda's at least pretty decently easy to use 
And from there, we're kind of just going to use Link for the rest of the mission. Now, the only reason why I'm using Link in this mission is simply for this one reason and one reason only. If you do it a different way, Link will actually um, uh, be the main commander and you'll have to escort them. By the way, because I didn't do it properly, I might still have that happen, but... Assuming I do it correctly, I will still get the heart piece and hard mode skull till uh, whatever it comes. But, in addition to that, I'll be able to just go in and go straight to other stuff. But because uh, I picked Elda as our first character, it and still thinks we're not using Link, so that means we will have to do something else as well, which is a bit annoying, but I don't care. I guess I'll just continue with it normally. Actually, well, let's, uh, let's check. Does the setup still work? It's not gonna matter. He's gonna get there before me, but I'm like, I'm sure if I get there before him, because I'm playing as Link, will that just trigger the same thing as before? Also, we got a very awkward timing for this. But yeah, I did play Zelda as the main character, though, just to make sure that we threw the other stuff. The rest of the mission, though, is going to be done with Link just because he's so much easier to use. Oh, but our own Zelda went in here anyway, so we'll get to see her chill with us while we uh, quickly destroy this Dark Link with the Master Sword. We could actually do this slightly faster with the Hylian Sword, but I'm using the Master Sword anyways, just, uh, I can do this just because I feel like it's cooler if we use the Master Sword. It makes the most sense here. And now we take out the Double Dark Wings. Oh my goodness, I cannot <laughs> attack properly. There we go. Where they actually go seems to be various. Sometimes I have them go to like the middle or top left, and other times they'll go somewhere else altogether. It seems to be random, which is a bit annoying because I want to try and get them kind of close together. Because if closer together, we could maybe take them out before Ganon appears, though I still doubt that will happen. Especially on hard, which is already more difficult. Okay, so since I have to wait a little bit, may as well kill this extra Dark Link for some more uh, experience and other stuff. Zelda, by the way, is going to defend Zelda. We're going to send her to... I'm going to bring her to that spot. She will guard our Zel our self, essentially, while we use Link to quickly take out the Dark Link. And now we have completed the second mission, which we did. Alright, now we should get the extra enemies appearing. The other ones don't matter, I right? They will always be the same. Oh, by the way, I think because we have Zelda as our main character, this room will not lock until a certain point. So I think I had to use Link as my main character. But, of course, if uh, Link himself appears, we'll get trapped anyway, so... That confirms that this room can close in one of two ways. Either you manually close it as Link, or by moving your green character over here. Or until other stuff happens. This is the part that I don't like, by the way, or, well, not like. Anyways, we defeated the enemy. And 
interrupt this so I can, uh, ooh, okay, there we go. And now my link is free and we can destroy the enemy some more. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is kill all the freaking moblins to make sure he doesn't die and then we'll take out the enemies on the middle afterwards. Also, because there's a lot of them going everywhere, we better um use this. Also, she's in trouble simply because, well, we didn't kill a lot of the enemies because it's hard mode. And not only that because, well, kind of just has a lot of enemies anyway. Good grief, though. They are losing health very quickly. Because this is hard mode, everything does more damage, so obviously it's more brutal. If we need to, we can just use Zelda to rescue herself. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these moblins are what causing him problems. So we first have to get rid of all of them. And then after all of the moblin forces are gone, maybe we can safely uh, do stuff. And there we go. And yes, I used that fairy magic just to make it easier on ourselves. Beyond that, I'm just going to go around and take out this guy as I, because we definitely can't let the forces gain morale and hard, or our allies won't be able to free properly, so of course we're going to guard them. And from there, we're just going to destroy the red troops, and that's it. That was a nice dodge there. Okay, we're gonna make sure all these red forces are taken care of. Now we'll say, kid, did I think I'll let you run? This time around, we will take out the skill summoner. We're gonna take him out using uh, Zelda. We're gonna go down and take him out with Zelda. And then kind of just chill and make sure these guys are safe. So all four of them have to escape, otherwise we lose. Thankfully Ganondorf doesn't actually immediately go directly the same way as before. Instead he advances towards Zelda, which we can just have our friend advance towards Zelda. But yeah, of course I'm going to take out the skilled summoner. Make sure he doesn't summon anything. Um, I guess I could just have Zelda attempt to stall him, but beyond that, can't take out Ganondorf until the Skulltula is collected. So, we'll make sure we do other stuff. There's some other troops here as well, so we'll kill them as well. More or less, it's just, do the mission like before, except in the end, you have to clear out all the troops. Ganondorf dying or doing other stuff, it doesn't matter. As long as uh, these guys free, will be victorious. That being said, they won't... Oh, yeah, I don't really care about you, Mr. Goan Captain. Out of all the commanders and other stuff, they tend to be one of the weakest. So it's like, what's the big deal? Just get good at the game and maybe I wouldn't have to save you. Okay, so they are retreating, so I'm going to use this time to damage Ganondorf down a little bit. Not much, just to 50%. Just because they retreat doesn't necessarily mean they did other stuff, so of course we're going to do that. Oh, Okay, that's fine. I wanted to switch to him anyway. Oh, and oh yeah, that's right, because... Um, Link is technically a secondary character as well, meaning... Once he uh, retreats, he will also flee the battle. Oh, I forgot. Oh yeah, it's in the East Garden. What am I talking about? It's not there, it's in here. And from there, it's pretty easy. Ganondorf will try to advance to Zelda, but because we stopped him in that earlier location, he's kind of stuck now. Normally you attack Zelda and it gets a bit more brutal, but I feel like by having Zelda attack Ganondorf myself, like my main heir to Zelda attack Ganondorf, it certainly makes this easier. 
won't be quite as fast as uh, using Link, but it'll still be decently fast. And there we go. Funnily enough, it still didn't do the text box, even though we cleared it out. Because, uh, oh, we have to take out our stuff, but thankfully, because Link wasn't there, we, uh... Oh, I, I guess the reason is I have to go up to Zelda, and that triggers her to say that. If you, like, go towards her, that'll happen. Zelda has saved herself from a terrible fate, by the way. <laughs> Just had to mention that. <laughs> Alright, the last thing we're gonna do is just do a quick run of this on normal mode. And that will be it. This second time will not be as bad this time. So we'll definitely do that. Oh, I forgot I have heart power on this weapon. I'll need to remember that because I'm gonna have to put that on when I get a a weapon also have his second tier weapon as well I'm so used to Darunia not having much that when he has the level 2 up and it kind of surprises me but don't have a lot of time to do weapons so I'll just sell all of those instead if anybody ever has their level 1 weapon only I'll just sell all the stuff but if they have multiple I might consider keeping it Okay, all we have to do is get something with Minna, which is easy, and then we have to do the mission with Lada Deku Spear. Oh boy, that's not gonna be fun. Deku Spear, one of the Zelana's weakest weapons in the entire game. Definitely prefer something to get over that. It's just way too slow of an attacking weapon. Okay, I'm gonna just bring the links in again. And then our final character will be uh, the one we need, which is Minna. All right, there we go. And just as I thought, one of them did not have the right fairy on. All you have to do is capture East Ruin's room, which is already pretty late into the game. So we'll just use her when the time comes. Beyond that, the mission is pretty easy to speedrun. We already do it pretty quick. I can actually save a little bit of time by sending you over there to the Sanctum. And Link himself is going to take out some captains and the stuff up top. Beyond that, unlike the other missions, Dive Beacon is at least decently quick. It does have an annoying objective, but because we are really good at the game, we're just gonna skip it. So the forces will gain morale, but we don't care. We can just take this out really quick. So as long as we kill enough troops, of course. Alright, so use you to take out this keep and the one on the bottom, and then we're gonna have Link do everything else on his own. That's what I'm gonna do. As for escorting the troops, I'm not sure what I should do otherwise. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't get the final sanctum until much later, so we'll kind of just chill and kill enemies with our other characters while we wait for it. Until we capture the main sealed sanctums up here, we can't, uh, do anything. I think the one thing I should do is use Link to do stuff. Kill some elite troops while we wait. Oh, there we go. All right, now we have to move down as quickly as we can. Now it says, but a dark power persists. The first part is surprisingly easy to speed run, by the way. It's the second part where it gets a bit annoying, but I have an easy strategy for it. It is not too terrible. 
and will actually not be the full fastest strategy, but a mixed version of it. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to still wait the normal time since you kind of have to anyways. And then when Volga enters the magic circle, I'm going to use the attack. That's basically what I'm doing. Beyond that, I'm just going to send Link down and obviously bodyguard Zelda. Make sure she doesn't die because this middle part, she has lots of enemies hit her. And now we get the reinforcements. Which means it's time to take out a lot of troops because there are tons of troops here. I'm glad at least we don't have to deal with them in their strong form, but it is still crazy. And of course, we will have to deal with the morale improving themselves. Normally, you are supposed to escort, blur out the series of free troops to make sure that objective is complete, then activate the magic circle in order to prevent them from gaining stuff, but... Uh, we don't need to do that in this one, so instead what we're gonna do is kill all of the elite enemies in the way that would get in our way normally. Oh, jeez, it's glitched again, of course. We did a full heal. We were already low, and we healed, and supposedly it still didn't work. Okay, here's our chat. Yeah, okay, I'm not fully healed, so... And to use that. So the only thing we really have to do in this first part is to escort Zelda, which we already do very quickly. And then, when Voga enters the magic circle, we're just gonna use it right away. It tells us we're supposed to draw enemies over for the east and our stuff, but we're not gonna do that at all. We're just gonna focus entirely on making sure Zelda gets to the end. Fortunately, Zelda isn't even moving the right way. Instead of going into the fairy fountain, she keeps on going somewhere else. This is so weird. I've never had her go up this high before. Normally, she always goes down immediately, but so that we're actually going to have to kill troops here. This is a spot where we're supposed to lure them to, but if she is not going to go into the fairy fountain to help her out by first killing these guys around here. Oh my gosh. Zelda, please. What is going on? We're going to have to take out literally everybody just because of that. Oh, finally she's going backwards. She literally got lured by the forces, and now we might actually be in trouble because of that. So annoying. Okay, uh, Young Link, you need to stall Volga to make sure she doesn't get there. Otherwise, if I ain't out about that, that'll be bad. Okay, finally. Oh, freaking finally. That was a very slow second segment. Now just wait for Voka's magic circle of effect to appear. And now we can finally use the freaking magic circle. She's a leads. That was unnecessarily long. It normally doesn't happen like this, but uh, yeah, um, that kind of happened. We'll wait for the number to go down and then activate it. This is just to make Volga a bit easier. And yes, we are intentionally failing the mission because it's very slow to lure them out, so... It's all we have to do is kill Volga. We're just gonna do that and then kind of kill the other forces. They will improve our, their morale, but I honestly don't care. Oh, and now that that's done, and now that their thing is done... Menda will be commanded to go to Eastern's room. And meanwhile, I will help her out by taking out this icy big quo here. And from there, it'll be fine. Because now the rest of the mission should be easy. Our forces more or less block them off. And there's not a lot they can do to stop us. 
And there we go. There we go. Got the piece of art with Minda. <laughs> All right. Easy enough. There's a lot of deening simply because of the higher level troops, but beyond that is pretty easy. Just weak Hylian captains not being able to hold their stray. Because of course they're pathetically weak. They should know better. It doesn't matter. Just take them all out. And there we go. Alright. And we're done. Fortunately, we didn't take them out fast enough, so we were able to skip that dialogue, but whatever. Still did it decently quit. That's all that matters. Fuck, this is what you wanted, Lana. No. Definitely not. Alright. much faster than the 1220 that is or whatever the extra one there we go just smash that one out get rid of it all right now all we have to do is with is on hard of course that involves using Lana with the Deku Spear, which is not easy by any means, but it's fine because we could just use her as a secondary character anyway. I think we'll use her as the last character too. She won't do and nothing though. She will lure out the tubes. Because this is next part will be hard mode, of course I'm going to lure out the tubes. Oh wait, what am I doing? I forgot. Start. I. My. This is the end of the episode. Leave a like if you guys enjoy. Cut, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.